Hi, I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy with another Global Real Estate School podcast. Welcome to the podcast. My name is John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy, and this is episode 095. Hey, we are almost to 100, 095, just a few away. And I appreciate you listening to the podcast. Hopefully you are a subscriber. If not, we'd love for you to do that today. We'd love for you, for you to give us a great five-star review and tell your friends and others when you hear someone talking about getting their real estate license or even needing some help with coaching, check us out at globalrealestateschool.com. Well, yesterday we were talking about limited partnerships and if you did not get a chance to listen to that, be sure and go back. It's episode 094. If you need some help just finding out if a real estate career is right for you, check out 093. That's my uh, visit with Denise Martin, who's a MAPS coach with Keller Williams. She gave some great advice on getting your real estate license and what you can expect. And just a, a great episode. 093, check that out. But today we're talking about limited partnerships, and I promised you on yesterday's podcast where we talked about limited partnerships, we would discuss an exam question, a sample exam question. So I found this question in a book, and I'll give this book its proper reference. It's Real Estate License Exam Exams for Dummies. <laughs> And um, John Yogo, who's a Ph.D. and a D.R.E.I., which I'm going to the RIA conference this week, and maybe I'll meet John there and can say hi to him. But uh, this is from John's book. It's a great book if, you're, if you are um, getting your real estate license and you are, are in school right now. This might be a book you may want to check out, Real Estate Exams for Dummies. And... Um, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of, you know, mention this question in my own words that John has in his book. But it, it, let's just say that Mary and Tom Smith have an investment in a property. If Mary and Tom's liability is limited to the investment, what type of ownership in real estate did Mary and Tom have? You know, so you'd love for them to word these questions like in a much more better fashion. And I'm not picking on John here. I'm talking about the real estate exam in general. But I love how John words this question because, you know, it just says that the limit is limited to the investment, well, that's the, that's the same way as saying that John and Mary, or Tom and Mary, I get my names mixed up there, and I apologize. It, it's, uh, I, yes, I cannot chew gum and walk at the same time. So, But you, you understand the, the couple of, that I mentioned in the question. If they're only limited, if they invest $7,000 and their only limitation or loss they can incur is $7,000, what type of business investment did they have? Well, they had a limited partnership, right? But if you just see wording on the exam that says limited or liability is limited to the investment, it's the same thing as saying they're only liable for what they've invested, okay? But sometimes on, on the test day, you know, you see a word or two that's not missing and you're, you want to draw more into the question, do not do that. So remember, if you are only liable for the amount that you invested into a business organization and you have no what? You have no say-so into the day-to-day the -day operations, then you probably are in what is called a limited partnership. Now, don't forget general partner. There's usually one general partner who has respond. They could be liable for all of the debts of the limited partnership, but the limited partners are only liable for the amount they invested. They have no say 
in the day-to-day operations. And if you see any kind of wording about a syndicate or a real estate investment trust, and they're asking what type of business formation is this created under, more than likely, it's a limited partnership. Thank you for listening to the podcast for Global Real Estate School. I'm John Mayfield, the real estate tech guy. Go out and make it a great day.